Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your Mercury retrograde reading for you, but it's going to be a bit different. We're going to be focusing on the energy shift during this Mercury retrograde, which is going to be quite intense. So buckle up, you're in for a bumpy ride. Now, before we begin this reading, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. So thank you so very much for doing so. And if you're interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It's listed in the description box below, and I look forward to reading for you. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see what the tarot has to say, Aquarius. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Interesting. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. And show me clearly, angels. Fantastic. Let me make sure everything is in frame. Perfect. Okay. Now, before we dive into the tarot, let's see what spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, there are a few things you have to do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The comment needs to be a butterfly, so I know that you are wanting to be entered into winning a free reading. The winner will be announced on Sunday, so good luck to everyone. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. This is Abundance Reverse, which has been coming up a lot during this Mercury retrograde. There can be a feeling of lack, of not being abundant, of questioning, of doubting, of wondering how we can move forward during this time. And it's like, let the doubt wash over you if you can like just like like it's like a wave hitting against a rock it disperses and goes back into the ocean now i know when we're in the midst of, of worrying of doubting of fearing it's like no 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 no. i my my whole body feels on edge like your whole body can feel like it has a bit of a sunburn right the nerves can feel just on edge and so this is going to be a time where we need to say to ourselves i am abundant and you can start off by saying, I am abundant, and then thinking, I am also a bold-faced liar. Like, this is not true. But keep on telling yourself, I am abundant. And then start naming one thing that makes you abundant. I am abundant. I am, I am loved. I am abundant. I had a really good lunch. Like, I am abundant. I, you know, went for a really beautiful walk. Whatever it is that makes you feel abundant, that starts to bring beautiful things into your life, and your mind starts focusing on those beautiful things, that's going to be really important because we're changing our energy vibration. We're, we're helping ourselves combat this Mercury retrograde, where part of this Mercury retrograde is in Leo, which is our sister sign. So it hits us quite hard, because if you have a sibling, especially if you have a sister, you know that they can bring out the best or the worst in you. So let's see what spirit has to say, angels and spirit guides. Here we have inspiration and forgiveness. This is the sacral chakra, and this is the heart chakra. So letting ourselves be inspired to forgive and let go 
is going to be very important during this time. A Mercury retrograde, even though we sit there and go, oh, no, spooky Mer Mercury retrograde, there's a really beautiful purpose in it. Just, you know, that isn't to make us, you know, get our wires crossed, miscommunication and run late, you know. What a beautiful thing that Mercury retrograde brings is the sense of what usually is swept under the rug is brought to the surface. Things that we usually go, oh my gosh, I can't believe I said that, is said, and then we are freed. And it's like, oh, okay. And it can be uncomfortable in the moment, but it is going to be very important, you know, as we move forward towards, towards our, the bigger picture of things. Let's see what energy we need to be mindful of during this time, angels and spirit guides. This is the Princess of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So if we're born on the cusp with Pisces, if we have Water Sign Energy in our chart, be mindful about this. But this is very immature energy that's highly emotional, that's highly reactionary. Like that is, I'm just seeing like a giant grown child. Like it's not even like, it's not even that they're childish in that endearing way. It's that they're childish. It's not they're innocent. It's not that they're they're kind. You know, it is that they are, they are all about them. It's like narcissistic, narcissistic, you know, like little kids are, are all about themselves. And that's the way we are when we're little, but then we grow and we become kinder and more aware. And, you know, we even see this in children when they become more aware of the world around them. But this person only aware of themselves, only aware of themselves. And it's absolutely aggravating. So just be mindful about that because you're going to think, oh, I'm wrong. You know, this person isn't that bad. It's like, no, they are. They are. And you can say it too. We have the two of cups reversed. We have the knight of swords. I love that for you, Aquarius. The two of swords is reversed. The eight of swords. The seven of pentacles is reversed. The four of swords. The two of wands is reversed. The six of, of wands is reversed. The eight of wands reversed. The nine of swords reversed and the Ace of Swords reverse. So it's very interesting is that we're getting this gift of clarity, of power of voice, of power of, you know, assertion of self. And we're not seeing it during this time. It's very much the Mercury retrograde is coming in, making us doubt ourselves, making us fear ourselves, making us think, oh my gosh, I couldn't possibly do this. I don't want to be misconstrued or seen as mean. And what we're going to see here is that we need to embrace our strength. We need to embrace what we desire. And we are slaying dragons during this Mercury retrograde. Now, Mercury retrograde is from the 5th of August to the 9th of September. It is in Virgo from the 5th to the 13th of August which makes us hypercritical of ourselves. It makes us, you know, almost neurotic, you know, in the way that we are overthinking, overanalyzing, you know, nitpicking everything that we say, oh, I should have done this differently. I should have done that differently. Stop it. You know, positive Virgo energy brings such clarity to situations. It's organized. It's, you know, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, moving things forward, being kind, being thoughtful. But when it is, when it is in the stressed out Mercury retrograde area, it is overthinking, overanalyzing, and we'll see that within ourselves. Like, oh my gosh, I should have done this differently. Oh my gosh, I should have done that differently. I can't believe I messed up this way. Now, on the 13th, the energy shifts from being in Virgo, where it's all about how we've messed up, right? And we're internalizing it all to Leo that lets out an almighty roar. It's like, okay, I'm ready for a fight. So just be mindful about this during this time. From the 13th, to, of, of August to the 9th of September. Now, this Mercury retrograde in, in Leo, it has everybody being a drama queen. Like, that's why this Princess of, of Cups energy is like, oh my gosh. It's like, not only is everybody inclined to being a drama queen at this time, this person is taking it to the next level. So being aware of that is going to be really, really important. Now, Leo usually thrives on creativity, self-expression, but again, drama queen energy, ego clashing, are coming out. So be mindful. And this is our sister sign. This is an energy we don't feel comfortable in at all. If we have Leos in our life, if we have Leos in our chart, we might be like, you know what? Until after the 9th of September, maybe we just write notes to each other. <laughs> maybe we just communicate through the post. That might be great. So just be mindful about this. Be calm. Be, be centering within yourself. Be quiet within yourself. Certain doors are closing during this time. 
It's not really going to be a big loss. You might think it is when the door is closing, but it gives you a chance to rest. It gives you a chance to look at yourself. You have to start honoring yourself. That's going to be really important during this time. It's really important just period. Aquarius, but honoring yourself, you know, knowing that you do a good job, head held high, shoulders back, you know, own your space, own your place in this world. Things are going to slow down. And there's going to be a time during this Mercury retrograde where you feel like, oh, this is this is kind of nice. You know, it's slowing down. It's 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 releasing a bit of negative energy. But then we can also feel a bit bored. So then it's like, oh, when is it going to pick up again? Let the slowness like ride the slowness for a little bit because when it picks back up it's going to be like super intense so being aware of that is going to be important there's a healing coming forward during this mercury retrograde that we're not going to see at all it's going to be in retrospect that we look back and we're like oh okay okay it all started then it all started in this wild and crazy mercury retrograde where i started to be the hero of my own story and i slayed the dragons and i embraced my voice and i look at what i want and it's like yeah i can do that yeah, I got that. Yeah, you know what? I'm not afraid uh, of that anymore. So a timidity that was around us is being released. And we start to see that we can do things that we didn't think we could do. We became very rigid with ourselves. And that rigidity is going to be, be questioned during this time. We do have a tendency to really lean into the Virgo energy in Mercury retrograde and have that lead into the Leo energy a mercury retrograde of doubting and and self-doubt and you know overthinking over analyzing so do be mindful about that but there's also a sense of a release of doubt a release of fear a release of you know i can't do this and a release of worry by the end of this mercury retrograde and this real sense of like oh no oh no i do have a a greater plan and a greater way of moving forward for me we're not going to be patient. We want things to move forward a certain way. And yet we are going to be able to look at things in a bigger picture. And if we step back and look at things in a bigger picture, we're going to be much more happy and much more satisfied with our decisions. Our subconscious spirit message is brighten. Subconsciously, we need to embrace the sun, brighten our, our mood, put a smile on our face, move us forward in love. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of, which is the throat chakra here and this is communication be mindful that things are going to be lost in translation it's part of a mercury retrograde but it's just going to be a little bit more amplified around us so being aware of that you know kind of making sure that we say everything that we want to say or that you know the person has said everything because they're going to think oh well you should already know that and you're going to be like how how even if i am a mind reader right even if you are psychic and empathic and you're really good at reading people, you will not be able to read this person. It'll be like, I, I don't know. You need to wear a mood ring, preferably on your forehead, so that I can tell your emotions and what's going on here. So just be mindful about that. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of, which is the Leo energy, which is what spirit has been saying this whole entire time. And it comes through here. This person can be very, very childish. This It's going to be very, you know, like, might equals right yes you you will listen to me you know it will be like that so just be aware of it and it's also such a drama queen such a drama queen that we are not interested in it moves us then to our subconscious tarot message which is the five of wands do be mindful of like petty nonsense that just gets blown out of proportion and so we don't need that we just don't need that at all aquarius all right all right, Aquarius, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Aquarius. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. And have a blessed and safe Mercury retrograde. Bye.